Now see, the, the Nidoran species are actually pretty interesting because the male is actually considered a completely different Pokemon from the female. Really? Yep. What's the male, what's the male Nidoran? The, exactly that, a male Nidoran. <laughs> but you said they're considered a different species. Oh, in like, gameplay terms? Yeah, like even, even in the Pokedex, they're completely different species. Really ex- they were separated. They were separated into male and female before male and female was actually a thing. Oh, okay, interesting. This, so it's not like just really extreme sexual dimorphism. It's just right. Interesting. That'd be kind of funny if since they're such species, after they instituted male female differences, there was male male Nidorans and female male Nidorans and female female <laughs> Nidorans and male male Nidorans. Nice. Defeated last Sally. But yeah, the uh, nice. the male and the female all have, you know, both have their own evolutionary lines and everything. What? Cory is evolving. Yes. Whoa. He looks more pissed off now. He looks a lot meaner. He yeah. Does. Your, your Cory <laughs> evolved into Ivysaur. Let's head back to town. Definitely. Your guys are dying. Oh, that's fine. They'll, I'm going back to the Poke Center anyway. Yeah. Just, just throw them in a bag and drag them along behind us. <laughs> What's the worst that could happen? <clears throat> Sprinting. Now it sounds like I guess some of my Pokemon they can they, I can potentially get the Flash ability to use on the main map. What is that? Uh, well, Flash is an ability that lets you navigate dark caves oh, okay. because w- when you get in there initially, like it'll just be pitch black. You can't see anything. You can still technically get through the ga- the cave, but it makes it insanely difficult because you can't see where you're going. Obviously, you can avoid battles by not letting trainers see you. Oh, okay. So you can you you, you can do a stealth ro- a Pokemon stealth run. It kind of only in some areas. Yeah, like, well, yeah, and it was like, a lot like of- here you wouldn't have gotten past that guy without you know him seeing you. Although that one back there, I guess like like I could go between him and the wall. You could, but then that girl would have you know noticed you and cut you off right there at his back, so well, you'd yeah. have been able to get past. But I could, but I mean, I could bypass him in theory. In theory, yes. I'll battle you with a Pokemon I just caught. Hooray! Catcher James would like to battle. Caterpie. Go, well. So, that's a level 11 Caterpie, but I'm level 7 and already evolved. <laughs> Interesting. Now, does... What, what affects when they can evolve? Um, well, I mean, if it just chooses not to. Like, wild Pokemon can choose not to, but, you know... When, when it's actually being trained by somebody, then the trainer is the one that has that choice. Yeah, like I told you before, like you know, if your Pokemon's evolving and you don't want it to for whatever reason, you can hit B during. Oh yeah. During the evolution and cancel it. Are there times when that's advantageous to not evolve? Uh, well, it really just depends. Like sometimes you learn, sometimes you learn different moves in you know your pre-evolved state than you do in your evolved state. Okay. So, if you want a certain move that you can only get in that, you know, pre-evolution oh, state, okay, then... No, okay. Right, right. If you make, if you prevent them from evolving, does that, do they, do, will you ever get another chance to, or is that... Oh, yeah, ev- every level. Oh, okay. Else. Yep, so it'll keep asking you every level until you do it. <laughs> Jade. It's like that thing that keeps asking you if you, you know, if you, if you want to register a program. Yeah. Oh God, yes. More string shot. Of course. You were fighting a Caterpie and/or Weedle. I mean, what did you expect? Ow. <laughs> Got it. Critical hit. Nice. 
right, I'll Nicely done. Seems like you're getting the hang of it pretty well. I'll go to level eight. Metapod. I'm gonna use quick attack so I can hit them before they harden each turn. Get the attack in before the harden rather than after. So. Oh yeah, definitely better to get it in before. Any other moves besides Harden? Uh, it's supposed to. <laughs> in theory. Always in theory. It's supposed to. Metapod defense won't go up any higher. You could use right, just tackle now. I wonder if it'll still try to hard. Yes, it will. Yep, it'll still continue you to try. Stupid, stupid creature. Actually, I guess I should blame the trainer. Yeah. It's like, do you really think you're going to win a battle with Harden over and over and over? <laughs> Maybe he's hoping you're, you'll, you'll eventually just, like, get bored and leave. Just give up. <laughs> oh. Well, bug catcher game, done like dinner. What does that All even right. mean? Fuck this Ratata. Is he going to eat them now? <laughs> <laughs> no, just a very bad metaphor. Eek, did you touch me? Maybe. <laughs> Last Robin. Jigglypuff. <laughs> Just be like, depends. Did you like it? <laughs> <laughs> Level 14 Jigglypuff. <laughs> this is new. Never fought one of these before. Yep, Jigglypuff is a normal type. A what type? Normal type. Say It sang at me. Yep, trying to put you to sleep. Pound. Whoa! A critical hit. Holy shit, that did a lot of damage. It's so cute looking. It is. And yet insanely violent, apparently. There are a lot of really cute Pokemon. Defense curl. Of course, I'm also the person that thinks a bunch of the Monster Hunter monsters are cute, too, so... Take that with a grain of salt. Maybe I can poison <laughs> it. Pound. Yeah, Jigglypuff's a badass. Well, he's level 14. Well, there's that. Cory! Whoa! That's weird looking from behind. Yeah, it is, but, you know, that bulb's partially open now. When he evolves again, that flower on top will fully open, too. It's actually kind of neat looking. Oh, is there another evolve beyond that that lets him do that? Yes. Oh, God, what'd you do? <laughs> it was just... <laughs> All right now. Wait. I have expect that big flower in the back to start like singing like the like the plant from Little Shop of Horrors. Oh God, that Feed would be kind of funny. Feed me, Sue. Feed me, Ash. <laughs> Again with the defensive, defense increasing ability. Stop! They yep. will not save you. <laughs> Nothing will save you. Oh shit! Putting oh, you no. to sleep, Mike. Oh no! Can I swap him out? Yeah, you can. I mean, he's got like one HP left. Yeah, but I mean, Corey can't do anything. So. Your foe's weak. Yeah. See, I would have said I would have said personally to bring out Jade so she can use Quick Attack instead, oh. but that works too. Yes. Gust. There you go. There's your gust. And that's good against the insects, right? Yes. That's it? What? You what? That savage beatdown you just got? Yeah, that is pretty much it. <laughs> oh, 
Ooh, here's something new. Wild Mankey. Go well. Okay. We're gonna try to take. We're gonna try to bring him in alive if we can. Oh, Corey's sleep status to carries over it after the battle. That's interesting. Reducing defense. Okay, yeah, now Mankey is a fighting type, so. Fighting type? Yeah, so if he hits your Rattata, it's probably gonna hurt a whole lot. Oh, no, he's just gonna keep using Leer. He should pull out Quick Attack to make sure he can't hit you. Don't take it. Critical hit! Oh, I meant. I, I should have taken him. I meant to ta take him prisoner. <laughs> Hold him as a hostage in, in our. In our uh, you know, negotiations with the Mankey government, it's pretty much the same thing. There's Pidgey. Well, Pidgey. You already have a Pidgey. Yes. So I'm afraid, sir. Is... Oh, kick, kick sand in your face like a bully in some like you know like weight gain powder ad. Oh god, yes. Charles Atlas or whatever. <laughs> Ooh, accuracy belt. Missed. Ah! Now, another really neat thing to note about a lot of the Pokemon designs is that they're actually derived from real life animals. Makes sense. Well, yeah. Or at least have, you know, some inspiration in in actual biology. Now, that that is with most of them. Now, I'll where say, does Jigglypuff because... fit into that? Whoa, Wild oh, Spiro! God. You know, that is a great question. That is actually a very good one. Someone in the comments can point out that they're actually, the Jigglypuff is some actual animal somewhere, and I'm going to look like an idiot. <laughs> Well, I don't know. I don't know that it's actually, you know, uh, derived from an animal, but it. I mean, it just looks kind of balloonish to me. All right, the tin bread. Let's go for the pokeball. Like it's just like a pink puppy balloon. We need another girl name. Oh, jeez. Um. Yes. Hmm. Spiro, height, one foot. It busily flits around here and there. Even if it is frail, it can be a tough foe that uses mirror move. What's that? Mirror move is where you copy exactly what your opponent just did. Oh, okay. So, this is so it can either it can either be pretty good or really useless, depending, depending on, on <laughs> depending on what you're copying. That, that thing looks pissed. Mm-hmm. Name to the Captain Spear. What to name it though? Let's see. There's. I've. I've. I've already named Pokemon after you, Lizzie, and Jade, and I don't really know any other women. So. No. Um. All right. This rage. This rage-fueled monstrosity. I will name in honor of my sister. Who's actually a very nice person. She cut, she, she cut my hair yesterday. Oh, well, that's nice of her. I basically look... When, when, I, when I get my hair cut, I basically look like a young Walter Subcheck. <laughs> except, I, except I have a full beard instead of a goatee, but otherwise. All right. Beards are great. I approve. You have a beard? No, I said beards are great. I approve. Oh, okay. I thought you... Oh, and Mankey. Alright, now maybe we can grab this guy now. Definitely. Go well. Sure, we'll actually... If we get this guy, we'll actually have too, we'll have, actually have too, too many to carry in our part, bring in our party all the time, at the same time. Yep. So you'll have to bench someone. Oh, 
kick J Beetle in the balls. Uh, now, yeah, Gus is actually good against him. Yes. It's it's weird because flying type is super effective against fighting type. I'm not really sure why, but hey, got you right in that perfect range where you can catch him. It's well, it's like in the old Karate Kid NES game where like there were those typhoon levels where the wind would just beat the shit out of you with stuff. Oh yeah. Oh god, I forgot about that. It, no, don't kill him. <laughs> You almost did, by God. Dead or alive, you're coming with me. Why does Robocop sound like Arnold? <laughs> Even as it started coming out of my mouth, I realized, what the, what the fuck? Alright. Thank you. Why not, though? Okay. Manky's data was added to the peanuts. L ed light and agile on its feet, and ferocious in temperament. When angered, it flies into an uncontrollable frenzy. Alright, well, in keeping with. This shall be. In honor of one of my old uh, Robot Geek uh, co writers. Actually, my, the first Let's Play video that ever appeared on Pump the Side Quest featured him. Nice! We, we played Starbound together. So this is Logan. Oh, cool. How is that? Starbound? It's neat. It, it, it's interesting. I prefer to. I mean, hmm. Okay, are there any other new types in here? Um, I'm not sure right off the top of my head. It's been so long since I've played, since I played Gen 1 in any way, shape, or form. Okay. Besides, I can't spoil everything for you. Fair, fair <laughs> enough. It's definitely more fun to just explore and find it yourself. Again with the sand. Always with the sand. Give me some scissors and I'll do it real quick. You like status attacks? Fine. Yeah, Here you go. Why not? I have some lower defense. Oh, it's actually it's actually attacking. A bolt, an innovative new strategy. Wait, no, never mind. Spoke too soon. 